What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the full 90. It is time for the week 36 Premier League predictions and the title race is heating up. It is pretty much just a two horse race now between Arsenal at the top and Manchester City who are a point behind with a game in hand. So drop a like, subscribe down below to join us on the road to 30,000 subscribers and leave your predictions down in the comments below. Here are the winning accumulators we've had since the previous episode. I don't know how the second Champions League semi-final is going to go tonight between Dortmund and Paris Saint-Germain but yesterday there were two fixtures that we made tips on over on the Patreon and we got odds of nearly 10 to 1 in combined accumulators from just the two. We had drawn both teams to score with Bayern and Real Madrid, then we had both teams to score double for Bayern Real Madrid, Coventry and Ipswich and then I went to the result market. I did Real Madrid double chance because they were just the better odds than Bayern Munich and I thought it would be a draw and Ipswich to win as well. Of course with the Monday night double up the day before that, the English four league both teams to score fourfold down there as well and of course since the last Premier League video we had a great day with Man City, Fernald and PSG and their comprehensive victories there as well as Man United, Atalanta and PSG too. Flashing up on the screen are all of the members that have joined the Patreon since we started the project back in September. So if you want to get a shout out in every single video and get the exclusive members tips and accumulators that I give this week, it's actually every single day. So if you want to get involved with that, then click the Patreon link in the description and get involved. But with that being said, we're kicking off with one of the most important games of the game week and it is going to be Luton up against Everton. Now Luton are of course currently a point behind Nottingham Forest in 17th in safety and a point ahead of Burnley in 19th on 24 points. This is a massive game. You could argue that Luton have to win it and Everton have nothing to play for. They're safe from relegation and that is that. They might very well be on the beach. So I might change my prediction. I originally went 1-1. Naturally if I do change my prediction obviously the tip will stay the same. I wouldn't change my prediction if it contradicted my tip because my tip is a lot more concrete than what I believe the score prediction could be. So I'm going to change it to Luton to win 2-1 and my tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.57. Although Nottingham Forest have got one of the easiest fixtures of the calendar year coming up later on in this video and you probably expect them to win that one. If Luton can beat Everton here then it makes that game all the more important and gives Luton a much better chance of survival. So I'm going to change it. Luton 2, Everton 1. After this, it is the Gunners. Arsenal up against Bournemouth, surviving a bit of a scare in the North London derby after going three goals up. And uh, Bournemouth, a record points tally in the Premier League for them after dismantling Brighton three goals to nil. I think Bournemouth are really, really good and so good to the point where I'm actually giving them a goal at the Emirates and Arsenal haven't been conceding too many goals lately, ignoring the North London derby, of course. But Arsenal, they're going to win this game. They have to win this game. I'm going to go for Arsenal 4, Bournemouth 1. And it's crazy to me, Arsenal's form in 2024. They've currently played 18 games, won 16, drawn one of them, which was against Manchester City, and then lost one which was that sort of surprise defeat against Aston Villa. And that's obviously in the Premier League. And the fact that they can go 16 wins, one draw against the team that they're actively fighting against. So giving Man City a draw and just one loss and that we might still not win the league because Man City haven't lost a single game is just insane. I hope City drop points somewhere. We'll discuss them later, but I think Arsenal will get the job done at the Emirates. Bournemouth have nothing to play for. They've got their record points tally. Sure, they could go up the league a little bit, but realistically Arsenal have it all to do here so 4-1 Arsenal the tip is going to be Arsenal minus one handicap of 1.53 I was tempted to go Arsenal and both teams to score but I could see this being 4-0 3-0 2-0 even even 1-0 we just need to get the win but obviously as well with the goal difference every goal counts and Man City with compre with comprehensive victories uh, recently they are closing the gap on goal difference it seems they are just catching up a little bit so any goal is valuable and I think Arsenal are going to get the win after this Brentford up against Fulham I won't spend too long on this because both teams really again have nothing to play for so I'm just going to go for a high scoring 2-2 draw the tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.53 following that we do have a very important game it's Burnley up against Newcastle Newcastle will still want to get as high up the league table as possible but Burnley They've had a pretty decent run of form lately, getting a draw from Manchester United most recently at Old Trafford thanks to a late penalty. If they can get a win here, they would leapfrog Luton, provided Luton don't beat Everton, and they would go ahead of Nottingham Forest um, ahead of their game against Sheffield United, which we'll talk about in a second. So this is all to do for Burnley, but I actually do just think Newcastle are too good. And Newcastle, it's not they have nothing to play for, they have something to go for. So I'm going to go for Newcastle to win 2-1. My tip is Newcastle to win at 1.95 because I like the odds, and I can see why the odds are that high. You know, if, if you put it at St. James's Park and Burnley don't have all to play for, 
the odds of Newcastle to win would genuinely be about 1.3. And it's not that the squads have really changed at all. So I think Newcastle can get the job done here. And at that price, I'm willing to go for it. After this, it is Sheffield United up against Nottingham Forest. Sheffield United, they've been relegated, but they do have a big say in who they drag down with them. If they can beat Nottingham Forest here, then, you know, imagine Luton and Burnley beat their respective opponents in Everton and Newcastle and then Forest lose this game that sees Forest drop to 19th position at the hands of 20th place Sheffield United however I don't see it happening I think Nottingham Forest have got a, a decent squad of players and they should be good enough to stay up I thought in their game against Manchester City I mean when do you ever see Man City lose on XG? And not just lose on XG, but lose quite convincingly. And as an Arsenal fan, that really frustrated me that Nottingham Forest had an XG. Basically, if they scored the amount of goals they were expected to score and City did the same, Nottingham Forest would have won 2-1. Some of the chances they missed were insane, but obviously City went and won 2-0 because City just don't lose. I'm going to go for Nottingham Forest to bounce back and win here 2-1. The tip is both teams to score at 1.61. And moving on straight into the next part of the title race, it's Manchester City up against Wolves. Now, Wolves have been a bit of a bogey team for Man City. Uh, I think Wolves are the only team outside the big six that have beaten Manchester City this season, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was 2-1 to Wolves last time out. Um, I, I think this is a step too far, though. At the Etihad, Man City are going to win this one. I'm going to go for a 3-0 win. The tip is Man City halftime, full-time at 1.44. The odds are bad because it's going to happen. You just know it's going to happen. You could go Man City win to nil, but Wolves might very well score a consolation goal. So I'm going to go for Man City to win to keep the pressure on Arsenal realistically all Arsenal's hopes are riding on their game against Tottenham which is crazy because you might have Arsenal fans supporting Tottenham and Tottenham fans supporting City against themselves to stop Arsenal winning the league so I just I hope City drop points somewhere I hope Arsenal get the win but I, I just don't see where that happens to be honest after this it's Brighton up against Aston Villa Aston Villa looking phenomenal the only reason the odds are the way they are I'd imagine is because of the conference league that Aston Villa have either side of this fixture but I do just think Brighton have been so poor recently that Aston Villa can get the job done Villa are still trying to cement top four obviously it's going to be difficult for Spurs to catch up especially with the fixtures that they've got coming up but Villa will want to do all they can to secure it for definite and yes of course they're in the conference league but a top four spot does send them straight to the Champions League next season whether they win the conference league and therefore qualify for the Europa League or not they would want to go to the Champions League so I'm gonna go 2-1 Aston Villa and the tip is going to be Aston Villa to win at 2.3 after this it's Chelsea up against West Ham what do you have to play for here? I don't know. Pride, maybe. It's a London derby. I think Chelsea are going to win. A rare clean sheet as well, actually. Just a vibe. Genuinely just a vibe. Kind of taking it back to a scoreline that you'd more commonly predict a couple of years ago when Chelsea and under 3.5 goals was a very common tip to pick. I'm going to go for Chelsea to win 2-0. And the tip is Chelsea to win at 1.61. After this, it's Liverpool up against Tottenham. If Liverpool, obviously, they can still potentially win the league, but it is all but done. It's very much out of their hands, to say the least. I think Liverpool can get something from this Tottenham side. It's at Anfield. I'm going to go for a Liverpool 2-1 win, but the tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.36, which is very low odds, but again, I think it's very likely it happened. Liverpool keep conceding, again, dropping points to West Ham last time out. Uh, Tottenham still yet to play Chelsea in the rearranged fixture, which I believe will be kicking off a couple of hours after you watch this video or after this video goes live. So, you know, I expect that uh, Tottenham might be able to get a point out of Chelsea. Maybe, maybe not, but I don't see them getting a point from Liverpool. After this, the final game, Monday Night Football, Crystal Palace up against Manchester United. I'm not sure I've ever seen Crystal Palace this short to beat Manchester United. It's currently about 2.45, putting them as favourites. And I can see why. Man United have been disappointing, to say the least, and Crystal Palace have really come into their own recently with some very good results and some very good football. And at home at Selhurst Park, I, I think Man United are going to drop more points in their bid to climb the table. I'm going to go for a high-scoring 2-2 draw between Palace and Manchester United and the tip is going to be both teams to score at 1.44 so realistically not too many shocks but still chances for Luton who get the win against Everton in my opinion however I do think Forrest will be able to beat Sheffield United I think Arsenal and Man City continuing the title race will both have comprehensive victories and I think Liverpool can beat Tottenham and Man United will drop points to Crystal Palace. So that is it for week 36 Premier League predictions. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like, subscribe down below, as I said, and I'll see you in the next video very soon.